In this video, I'm going to talk about various transformations and adjustments that you have to make uh, in your data sometimes so that you can make sense of uh, the data set. The first type of transformation is calendar adjustments and then you can also need to adjust your data for the population and then if uh, the data involves dollar values, you may need to adjust for inflation. And finally, there may be some uh, transformations if your data, for example, show variations. Those are not constant across all the uh, time periods. In that case, you have to make some mathematical adjustment uh, in your data. So let's look at each of uh, these uh, transformations. The first type of uh, transformation is the calendar adjustment. And you may have monthly data set of uh, milk production. And if you plot this data set, you may get a picture like this. And out of all these, you will see that the milk production in one particular month is pretty low, which will be the second month of the year. Now, it's not that something is wrong with this month. The problem is the second month of the year has only 28 days. Hence, as compared with the rest of the months, the aggregate milk production will be pretty low in February as compared with some of uh, the other months. So we need to adjust uh, this type of data by instead of using monthly data, we can easily transform our milk production per day as compared with milk production per month. And this will give us a better idea about how our milk production is uh, behaving over time. And then we can analyze uh, this data set. So before doing anything, we need to make uh, this adjustment in our time series. The second type of adjustment that you have to make sometimes is uh, population adjustment. An example is the total GDP of uh, Canada and Mexico, which is about $1.6 trillion. So if you look at only this number, it seems like the standard of living in Canada and Mexico is identical. But the problem is the population size of Mexico is uh, far more than the population size of Canada. That is these $1.6 trillion worth of GDP, it is shared among more people in Mexico as compared with Canada. So we have to make this adjustment and divide this total GDP by the number of people those will be sharing this GDP. And after we make this adjustment and calculate GDP per capita, we get a better picture. That is the GDP per capita of Canada is almost five times that of the GDP per capita of Mexico. And now we have a kind of a sense of the standard of living across these two countries. Another example could be the number of beds in uh, hospitals in various cities. Just by looking at the number of beds, you cannot say that the health uh, facilities in one city is uh, better than in another city. You have to adjust uh, for the population of uh, those two cities as well. And if you are dealing with prices over time in your data analysis, you have to make uh, inflation adjustment before analyzing your data. That is $100 today. It's not the same as $100 one year ago or $100 one year from now. And so if we want to look at uh, uh, prices at various periods of times, we have to adjust our prices for inflation. So these are some of the adjustments that uh, you have to make in your data set before starting any analysis. In the next video, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on talking about the mathematical transformation in a data set because it requires a little bit more time to understand. But the idea here is to make our data uniform across uh, various time periods or across various uh, time series so that uh, the comparison is easier. Alright, I'll see you in the next video to talk about mathematical adjustments.